I remember the night of my 21st birthday. That was the first time I died. It's the car. Oh, it's the car. Come on, wake up, sunshine. What's the matter, you pussy? Huh? Get one little baby down from a nightclub bouncer? You gonna sleep on me over here? Yeah, hey, I already told you, he don't look so good. That guy was a goddamn gorilla. Ugly too. Oh, he's gonna rip my nuts off. He finds out we never collected his money. Oh, man. Man, we screwed the pooch on this one, Jackie. You know what Paulie's like? You don't collect. That's not to even come home. Hey, Polly don't know nothing, all right? Well, tell him the money was stolen before we got there. Maybe he'll be nice, because... Cause it's Jackie's brother. The guy's killed. One little nice could slap him upside the head with a 50-pound sledgehammer. Jesus Christ. We gotta get a plan. Okay, okay, okay. Practical question. You think the body was gonna want us to take a Such a sight? I'm headed that way. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he was adamant, right? I mean, maybe if you like that guy, he's so clean. He's so hot on us, you think? Maybe. We gotta get the first one. Hey, we got company. Drive, goddammit! Hold on to your lunch! <laughs> Great, mate. You're gonna be killing us. <laughs> I told you there was coming. I heard the sirens. Did I say I heard the sirens, Nino? You hear sirens in your sleep, Mike. You're gonna shake these assholes or what? Watch this. <laughs> Zen construction site, happily named. Classic mob venture filled with blue-collar construction workers armed to the teeth. And my boss, Uncle Paulie, sent me here to whack the foreman. Like I said, classic.
I think I'm... I busted my watch. Oh God, it hurts. Jesus, I wouldn't want to do that again. Ah. Oh man, would you look at that? These pants cost me 400 bucks over at South. Now they got bloodstains all over them. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Some fucking 21st birthday for you, huh? your present. Thanks, Mikey. Atta boy, Jackie. You look after those pieces and use them well. You know, this looks real bad. Real bad. Now go find out what's going on and get the hell out of here. How many guys he got on the site? 20, 30 tops. Some real hard asses from, from the Emerald Isle. Where do I find Sullivan? He should be in his office. At the far end of the site. You be careful though. This boy is sure as hell know we're coming. The man of Jackie.
Hey, it's your Uncle Paulie. You know you've been a pain in my ass since the day I met you, Jackie. Pissing and moaning about the way I do business. Well, you need to learn who's calling the shots in this family. I've been very, very generous to you, Jackie. In fact, I got a surprise for you. On your birthday. It's in the closet. Have a blast. Me and Paulie never did agree about the way things were being done. Paulie took the business into selling drugs, working side by side with the cops. When I was growing up, the family had codes. We did business. We looked out for the people. I believe we ought to honor those codes. Now Paulie, he's just a parasite. Wants to bleed me dry. I down there! He's going towards the cemetery! Tell the boys to turn around the block! We'll squeeze him in there! Where is he? I don't see him no more. As we see him, we blow his brains out. Attack! I got him in my I'll sights! Cover you! Sure! Ah! Hey, don't shoot me, son. Frank Rottenberg's the name. I live here. Smells like Satan's bunghole. <laughs> but it beats freezing to death. Yeah, nice place. Angel statue and everything. Eh? What the hell are you talking about? You're in a piss parlor, kid. Uh, unless you mean the Trinity Cemetery outside. Is there a way out of this fucking cemetery? There's a gate at the north end. Good luck on it, though. Keeps out the undesirable element. You he ain't here. I got him in my sight! Oh, you. I will display my power.
I've heard people complain that life is unpredictable. Well, I never had a life that was predictable. But what happened to me today? That's why I need you, Jenny. You're the only one I can count on. Jenny, it's me, Jackie. Hiya, baby. Happy birthday. I just got into my new place. Yeah. Again? I can't talk. Are you... Yeah. It's on... I'll be... I'm a big girl. Hey. Go, Jackie! It's me, Enzo! Way up! I hear you pissed off your Uncle Pauly. Put his boys out to look for you. You knock bones with one of his girls or something? Why don't you ask him? Uh-uh. I steer clear of that little rat like he had the bubonic plague. What the hell did you do? Uh, money was involved. I was unconscious at the time. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Hey, I was wondering, you still seeing that girl, Jenny? Because I was thinking, you know, if you ain't... Huh? Hey. I'm still seeing her. Matter of fact, she just pays me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a phone down the platform you can call her from, you know? Hey, you say hi for me, okay? Watch 6 breaking news special report. I'm Jane Unger, bringing you continued coverage on the latest on the Crane and Eckstein bombing. Police officials have dismissed the bombing as a random incident. Captain Edward Schrote was unavailable for comment. With us now over the phone is Lieutenant Gomer. Welcome, Lieutenant. Appreciate you joining us this evening. Thank you. Could you give us an update on the current investigation into the Crane and Eckstein bombing? Absolutely. The Gravesend construction site bombing seems to have been a part of a feud between two small-time gangs. We have indications that lead us to suspect a foreign criminal organization was involved in the laundering of drug money for the Crane and Eckstein Construction Company. I see. Do you have any suspects detained yet? Hey, Jackie, it's me, Nicky Barucci. Hey, wait up! Good to see you, Jackie. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. So what's the news with Polly? And how's the wife? Yeah, so-so, Jackie. But it ain't the wife I'm worried about. It's Polly. That little Doberman don't see anything but money. Word's out, Jackie. He's paying a lot of cash to the guys who bring you down. Some of the younger boys? They get scared to take a dump without his permission. Spineless little turds. I wouldn't come around here for a while if I was you. Polly put a hit on me. Already. Yeah, already. You just be careful around here, son. And try not to whack anyone. Old Butch has got his hands full cleaning up the last mess. Some asshole hit the head chef at the Olive Grove by mistake. It's a fucking bloodbath in there. You remember Jenny, right? She moved to a new place around here. It's supposed to be by some ball court. You know where it is? The basketball court, sure. First street to the left, and then second to the right. But in case you didn't hear me the first time, Paulie's got a hit out on you. So be careful. 
Thanks for the advice, Mr. Barucci. But I can take care of myself. Ever been in love with somebody who is so beautiful and pure, you couldn't bear to show them your own darkness? That's how I feel about you. We grew up together in St. Mary's Orphanage. I guess I'm gonna have to tell you the truth about what kind of scumbag I really am. But what the hell am I gonna say? Stand in the shadows, Chuck. Look on the kitchen table. Surprise! Cake! <laughs> you won't believe this. Look, John Carlos spelled your name wrong again. <laughs> well, you gonna blow out the candles? Happy birthday, rat face. You're finally legal. I know you always piss and moan about your birthday, but I couldn't resist. I mean, you're only 21 once, right? Are you okay, babe? You're being kind of quiet. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I'm fine. Just kind of tired. Had a problem at work is all. I know you, Jackie Estacado, something's wrong. Oh. Polly's all bent out of shape because some money went missing from the register. Now I think he's gonna terminate my contract. Ugh, you never worried about stuff like that before. He's been upset plenty of times. What exactly do you do for your Uncle Polly anyway? Why won't you tell me? I'm a nobody. Take out the garbage. 
You're a bad liar, Jackie Estacado. You look pale, and you're sweating. There's something else, isn't there? Okay. See, here's the thing. I was supposed to collect some money from my Uncle Polly downtown. Only the money wasn't there. And now Uncle Polly's kind of pissed at me. Hey, come on. It's your birthday, and I've got a new apartment. Let's take one day off from fucked up. Your friend Butcher came by today. He wanted you to call him when you could. I wrote the number on the notepad by the phone. Come on, sit here for a while, Jackie. And watch some TV with me. Jackie, what is it? Jenny? Yeah? Nothing. <laughs> Let's just sit here for a while. Okay? <laughs> You want the remote, don't you, mister? Uh-uh. No. My apartment, my TV, my remote. Listen, Butch, 
Things are happening. I'm about to get my ass handed to me by a very nasty scumbag whose name rhymes with Paulie Franchetti. Okay, now I want you to notice. I do this only for you because of who your father was and because you've always shown respect to your family. Now listen, you go through Doya's alley across from Jenny's apartment. I got my car parked there. Make sure no one sees you. I'll leave the back door entrance to the kitchen open. You got that? comes by here. So where's Estegado, huh? There's one untouchable in this business. It's Butcher Joyce. You put out a hit on some guy, Butcher flushes his body. No one's ever the wiser. Butcher knows everyone's business. But what keeps him alive is that he never, ever chooses a side. Yeah. Too bad there's a war coming. you coming from a block away, Jackie. Those expensive Italian shoes make you sound like a fucking bull elephant. Like a new generation. 
Every cop for a half a mile around probably knows you're here. Fucking cops all I need now, huh? Grab that body, would ya? Oh. Always. Oh, you gotta call me in when I'm eating dinner. Can't you people make your hits at a reasonable time of the day, huh? Jeez. You know, they told me there was only one body to dispose of. Must uh, be one of those... Oh. Uh, dealers from the alley. So what happened? Then, some moron puts a bullet right between Jeff Elmet's eyes. Fucking hell. Ah, uh, uh, what are you gonna do? Mm. Just drop it in the trunk. I'll take care of it. All right. Good enough. What happened to you tonight? I wish the hell I knew, Butch. I don't know. I guess Paulie thinks I'm gunning for his throne. Someone cold cocks me on a takedown at Dino's. Next thing I know, I got the 5th Italian Cavalry riding my ass. You know me, Jackie. I never choose sides. Whatever the problem is, it's, it's up to you and Paulie to solve it. Well, if this gets out of hand, the Chicago families will intervene. When that happens, ooh, buddy wins. So you beat Paulie's guys, and he's not a good loser. Now, I wouldn't put it past him to throw Eddie Schrode on your ass. Cops. Fucking cops. Ugh. Hold on a second. Why would the Chicago families give a fuck? They care about two things. Respect and money. Not necessarily in that order. You make the money, you earn their respect. You rock the boat, they throw you in the ocean. Hmm? Now you listen to me, Jackie. Your only option is to take down Paulie before he takes you down. Put a big enough dent in his business, and the Chicago people will see to it he has an accident. I would never be one to suggest how you do this. But if you ask me, you need to pay a visit to Dutch Oven Harry. Put some holes in him. Hmm? Dutch Oven Harry? No, never heard of him. <sighs> Who's Dutch Oven Harry? I'll tell you. Harry is Paulie's biggest dealer of illicit medicine. He works out of a building in Hunter's Point. Now, if I were the kind of man to be involved in things like this, I'd take down Harry, and I'd pull all of his merchandise out of the building. But I'm not, see? You don't want to come walking up to their front door, so go through that rundown billiards club at Whitefish Alley. Is a back door leading to Hunter's Point from there. Hmm? Ah, fuck. The cops. This is why I don't get involved. Get back inside. Resisting arrest. Dig him out, boys. You caused me a lot of trouble, boys. Running around shooting people. Getting the beat. I've got to be punching. He ain't got falling. Nice and simple. Come there! Thing we need is some What's that? 
No difference to me.
Listen, the best way to my Uncle Paulie's heart is through his rib cage with a meat cleaver. Failing that, you screw up his distribution and let the Chicago people collect on him. Now, I've been all over town picking up Paulie's drug money from his street peddlers, but I've never been to Dutch Oven Harry's. All good? Can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. Hypothetically speaking, right? Would a moose have sex with me if I gave it $10 million? Well, that's a lot of money. So, would it? Well, I guess it would depend on the moose. If it was a genetically altered moose with a brain power equal to a human, with speech, I'd have to say yes. Okay. Everybody knows that the Swedes are open-minded when it comes to sex. Our species sex too, I'm sure. Yeah, those filthy Swedes. Hey, 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 what say you slip me a couple of bucks, eh? Huh? I gotta take a train. Say, you got any liquor on you? Sorry, pal. I'm dry. Hey, you know Dutch Oven Harry? Oh, you, you want to get wired up? <laughs> you go by the side door and tell them old Matty Forehand sent you. If they ask, you say, hit me. And then they bring the really good shit. Now, now, you make sure not to point any guns in their general direction. Now, I don't want to get caught in a crossfire. What's the password? Hit me. I gotta see Dutch Oven Harry. Come on in. Harry ain't around. You want something? Talk to Roach. Don't just dick around. You want something? Go in there. Hey, Bobby. Harry wants you to do the clean run tonight. What are you, fucking crazy? I got a date with that stripper, Camille. From the Pink Pony? The one with the huge tits? Now you tell him I ain't doing it. <laughs> yeah. Nice try. You tell him. Hey, get a move on it, huh, pal? I got a hot date tonight with a couple of Gino's girls. Tell him I want it. I got everything. What do you need? I need Harry. Yeah. Where is he? You got some nerve, kid. Hey, Roach. What's up, Harry? Just got a call from the boss. Someone's coming to pay us a visit. Oh. He's already here. Harry, you want me to bring out the hard liquor?
Sure, Harry. Take it easy. I killed them myself. Sure thing, Roach. Why don't you come up to my office? And we'll discuss I got him in my sights! He's around here somewhere.
Well, Uncle Paul, he's pretty much a scumbag. Not that anyone has the balls to tell him to his face. Paul, he took me out of an orphanage I lived in after my parents died. It's kind of like being rescued from a shark attack by a grizzly bear. The only reason he took me in was because he needed another hitman. We never did see eye to eye. of the dead. You fucking maggot! Anyone hurts Paulie Franchetti. I hurt him twice as bad in return. Three times as bad! Because I decide how this city works. You hear me? I hope you took a good look at the sky today. Because it's the last moment of peace you'll ever have in your very short and very miserable rest of your pointless fucking existence. Think of happy thoughts. Think of the people you love. Think of St. Mary's Orphanage for fucking imbecile children and the bomb that blew their retard brains to pieces. They're all dead, Jackie. So I want you to think of me. And never forget, this was all your fault. Jackie, did you hear on the news about St. Mary's Orphanage? Oh God, it's so horrible. That was our home, Jackie. Yeah. I don't know what to do or feel about it. All I know is that it's evil. Where are you? Jimmy's picking me up. Can we meet at Fulton Street by the exit to the orphanage? You can take the train from Canal and be at Fulton in a minute. I'll be there as soon as I can. Anyone who says the subway is dangerous never sat in the back of a yellow cab going the wrong way at 90 miles an hour through the Midtown Tunnel with a guy who can't speak a lick of English, my buddy, Crazy Abdul. Newswatch 6 reporter Matt Devon. Matt, what do you have for us? 
Jane, behind me is a scene of chaos as New York's fire department tries to subdue the raging fire that has claimed the St. Mary's Orphanage. Earlier reports that this might have been a terrorist attack have been quelled by Captain Edward Schrote of the New York City Police Department. He has said that the explosion was likely the result of a gas leak and that there's currently no suspicion of criminal activity having been involved in this tragic accident. As you can see behind me, the fire is still way out of control and the fire department is desperately searching for anyone who may still be alive inside. Shit! Jane, we've been asked to leave the area. It's not safe for us to be here. All right, thank you, Matt. Stay tuned for more information on this developing story on Newswatch 6. Hey, good to see you, Jackie. Listen, I wish we could be meeting under better circumstances, but you know the way things are. Oh my God, Jackie. This is so awful. No one's heard from Sister Mary. The police said it was some kind of a gas main explosion, but it feels like they're hiding something. Our Sister Mary? Jesus, what about the kids? <sighs> Two or three died. One of the firemen told me some have severe burns. Yeah, I know, Jenny. It's a terrible thing, sweetie. It's a terrible thing. But, um, you mind if I have a quick word with Jackie? Okay, I guess. Jackie, come in. Let me tell you something. I've seen this shit happen time and time again ever since that fat fucking Paulie took over the mob. You understand? He's doozy bots. He's out of his fucking mind. Last week, last week he cut off Tony Lucchese's big toe. Why? It's a fucking baseball game. Can you believe that? A disagreement over a baseball game. That fat piece of shit thinks he can't be touched, right? Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. He's gonna be touched. Oh boy, is he gonna be touched. I'm telling you, someone goes to grind his lane, and they burn all the fucking money he's holding for the Chicago guys. Listen, Jimmy. Now, you know out of respect, I would never do anything like that unless you guys gave the word. If I make a move, will you keep an eye on Jenny? Jackie, like she was my own flesh and blood, I swear to God. Just kick the fuck out of them. You hear me? Kick the fuck out of them. Yes, yeah, it's, it's terrible about Sister Mary, huh? Yeah. She was tough on us, but she was the only mother we had. And those poor kids. I can't stop thinking. Grinders Lane. This is the center of Paulie's operation. The place always makes me want to kick a fucking dog. Or something. Hey, I wouldn't hang out around here if I was you, pal. I mean, there is something that just ain't right about this place. I mean, 
You see all the meat shipments coming in, but like nothing ever fucking comes out. I'm not making this up, man. They're probably shipping in something illegal, like a rhino meat or something, huh? Okay, check this out. There's a control box on the other side of the gate. It's on the wall, but you gotta look real close, cause it's hidden in the shadows.
I love this subway station. My Uncle Paulie brought me down here on vacation one time. Count the trains. Best two days me and him ever spent together. Jackie, they snuck up on me and nailed me from behind. Paulie and that fucking piece of shit Eddie Schroed. But listen, you gotta get to the orphanage. They took Jenny to the orphanage. You gotta get there. Go on, move, quick, move! When you kill for a living, life's only precious if you're staring down the barrel of a gun or somebody you care about is. Paulie can have my possessions, my life, anything I own. Anything except you. Anything! Boom! <laughs> what? Just like that? Just like that. Something, Jackie. Now you're my boyfriend, hey. Jackie. Hell no. Or two. Hell no. Finish your soup, Jackie. Be thankful. Be thankful.
promise me, Jackie? No more frogs. No more killing. Promise. No more killing. Cross your heart and hope to die? <laughs> Cross my heart and hope to die. <laughs> Did you feel that? It got so cold all of a sudden. I don't feel nothing. It's like... Like we're being watched. It's like someone just walked over my grave. was so right about uh, you. Shut up, you dumb broad. You're giving me a fucking headache. This was your idea, Franchetti. If it was up to me, I'd have blown her brains out already. Yeah, well, it's not up to you. Fuck you! Why are you doing this? Maybe you should ask your boyfriend when he gets here. Jackie? Why haven't you fucked him oh, over shut enough? Shut fucking mouth, bitch! No! Oh. Oh. He's still in watch. Please don't kill me. No! Oh! Oh! Damn it! Your flesh is mine. Your will is mine. Well, 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 just in time. I heard you and your girlfriend grew up here, Estacado. What a shithole. Broke my nose. And now the place looks like it was hit by a bomb. Oh, Get up. what's the matter? Don't know your ass from your elbow with all that demon shit. You, you know why we're here? As you heard me, Jackie. I took you in for my own. I trusted you. So now all this blood is on your hands. Jackie, what's going on? Get me out of here. Ah, shut the fuck up! No. You see a happy ending here, Jackie. You figure you got something to bargain with me so that I don't blow her fucking brains out her fucking nose? Cause the way I see it, you got nothing. It just gets bigger and bigger, don't it, Jackie boy? We hurt you, you hurt us, like some fucking game we're playing here. And you caused me a lot of trouble, boy. You were my blood, Jackie. I loved you like a son, and you took from me. You stole my respect, and you stole my trust. And when blood takes from blood, someone always pays. So now, I take from you. Jackie, this is not your fault. <laughs> Jenny. She was a bird. This is 
Sultan. Where are you going? First time I died. You won't be Jackie. You betrayed me by gift. Go on. Jesus Christ! No! Please! Please have mercy!
Of death, they say he has no fear. All men are land is grave, wrote on a rough hewn cross. A cattle is fear. You're going to need to reach the village through the sewers. But be sharp about it. The Hun are closing in. Have a word with Corporal Greenwood. He can show you the way to the sewers. You're with that other Yank, aren't you? The one in the village? My name is Captain William Eldridge, Second Army of the British Expeditionary Force. Who must be the Yank we've been hearing about? You're going that way, son, and I wouldn't fall about. I've seen things down there that would make grown men cry. If I were you, I'd get in there sharpish. Keep moving and don't look back, whatever you do. There's no explanation for what's happened to me. Maybe this place isn't a place at all. Maybe it's a state of mind. I mean, I'm supposed to be dead. I remember you. I remember the gunshot. I think I'm in hell. Daddy, go back or be lost forever. Worse than hell. Nothing can turn me loose. Turn away. Nothing for you here. Young Astacado! Let's get into the church, eh? He's waiting for you in the church. I'd get inside before the bloody Germans... Are you a sight for sore eyes? Listen, kid. I know there are a lot of things you're not going to understand, but you got to trust me. Now that you've arrived, I think we're going to find out what's happening here. Do I know you? My name is Tony Estacado. Okay, this is going to sound weird, but I guess that I'm your great-great-grandfather. What the hell is this place? Don't you see it? Everything happened here, Jackie. This is where it all began. That's why I'm back in this goddamn nightmare war. It's why we all are. I brought this darkness into our family. This is all my fault. What do you know about the darkness? Do you know why it chose me? I don't know. It, it needs a host, I guess. I messed up, Jackie. I brought it into the family. I didn't realize it would do this to us.
The darkness. What the hell is it? The darkness is a living thing. It's some kind of a creature, old as time. It, it, it passes down from generation to generation, making itself known on the firstborn male's 21st birthday. Why did it bring me here? It needs its human host to stay alive. Somehow you broke the rules, Jackie. You died before your time. The darkness has to keep you here while it puts you back together. It won't allow you to die. How do I stop this? And how do I get out? Listen, there might be a way to control it. I found out that a long time ago, one of the human hosts forged two special weapons that were used to control the darkness. Promise me, Jackie, that you'll go find them. You gotta work out how to control this damn thing before it's too late. Don't listen to the darkness, Jackie. It'll lie to protect itself. Just keep going and don't look back. Don't believe him.
when you die but you don't really die you come to a place like this but it doesn't really seem like a place it seems like a memory hip, hip, carry on What the? You found them? Yeah, yeah. I got them. What now? The Brits have been fighting for centuries to get to those hills, but you're the one who made it. <sighs> All right. Here's what else I know. There's this thing. The darkness keeps it heavily fortified. A cannon outside an old castle. A cannon? How do I get to it? There's an underground sewer system that leads to the cannon. Krauts and strange things are crawling every damn where. I think the darkness put them there for a reason. The only way is through the catacombs, right down here. Steady your rifles! Keep your eyes peeled! First thing that moves, shoot it dead! Okay, Jackie, get going and move as fast as you can. Don't look back. Get going. Close it up quickly before they catch our scent. I don't like it, sir. Place is crawling with the damned hearts. This is a mistake. There's something important here that the darkness is trying to protect. I could feel its agitation. But if I stay the course, if I defy the voices in my head and never look back, maybe up ahead I'll see a light. And maybe in that light, I'll see you, Jenny. Everything you know is a lie.
Somewhere, somehow, the darkness is doing whatever it can to keep me alive. Because it needs a human host. But not one that thinks and acts for itself. Like me. You have done well, Turkey. I was always on your side. Kids with death.
not supposed to be here. Stay away from the controls! Jackie, where the fuck you been hiding? First Jenny gets murdered, your ass goes up in smoke, everyone figured Paulie blew you the fuck away. He did, Jimmy. I just came back is all. You know, your Aunt Sarah, that poor woman, that poor woman would just sit there in her Raspberry Street apartment and wait just for you, yeah, just for you to show up. You ever do one thing right in this whole mess, in this whole life of yours, you go down to the Lower East Side and you see her. You hear me? You go down to Raspberry Street and you go see your Aunt Sarah. My Aunt Sarah. Now, she taught me about life. After I left the orphanage, she was the one person who cared for me. And she loved you. Now, when her husband, Jimmy Franchetti, died, the family forgot about her. Except for the older guys. And me. been so worried about you. I heard you were gone and I, I feared the worst. You look thin. Have you been eating? You come on inside. Come on. You want some minestrone? I know what's happened, Jackie. And you know how much I've always loved you. You know how I hate it when our family turns against each other like this. Aunt Sarah. I lost her. And what the hell am I gonna do without Jenny? It's terrible. I cleaned out her apartment. She was waiting for you, Jackie. Anyone but you could see it. Oh, you should have taken her away from this place when you had the chance. And now you've got to take care of it. I'm really sorry for the way things came out, Aunt Sarah. Now you know that I never meant any disrespect to you and the family. 
But I'm gonna have to take a stand against Paulie and Eddie Schrote and punish them for what they did. I know. And some of the older men, they'll support your decision, Jackie. But you're gonna have to earn their trust. If you were to hurt Paulie's operation, they might consider joining you. They want things back the way they used to be. I'm gonna tear his face off, Aunt Sarah. Part of my language. But I'm gonna rip that dirty little motherfucker's face off and feed his lips to the fucking rats! But I can't kill that little fucking scumbag without your blessing. You know that. Well, kill is such a dirty word. But do what you have to do. And understand that you won't get to Paulie unless you go through his police dog first. The only way to Paulie is through Captain Eddie Schrote. Now, I happen to know he has an apartment up by Gun Hill. And I spoke to Jimmy the Grape, and he's arranged for a man named Abe Hunter to let you into the building. And I suggest you go there and take up Jimmy's offer of help while you can. like I have everything to live for and nothing to gain. I got nothing worth having without you. But at least I got a purpose. And that's tearing Eddie Schrote into a thousand pieces. It's my reason to live. Anyone who says the subway is dangerous never sat in the back of a yellow cab going the wrong way at 90 miles an hour through the Midtown Tunnel with a guy who can't speak a lick of English, my buddy, Crazy Abdul. side and a bad side. Now, he's killed and tortured a few people, but then again, you should see his bad side. Now, I try not to judge, but for what he did to you, both sides are as good as dead.
Well, you took your sweet time, didn't you? I'm Abe Hunter. I don't know where the fuck you been. What? You hit traffic or something? All right. Schroth's up in his place. He's been there about an hour, maybe. Five will get you ten. He won't be expecting no company. Only about five people even know where he lives. Thanks for the info. Now, how do I get in? Listen, ride up in the elevator and go straight in. Follow the stink. You can't fucking miss it. All right, here you go, pal. Okay, so you got the key to Schroth's apartment. The elevator's over there. You do know how to work an elevator, right? Hey, nice talking to you. See you around. Give my warmest regards to Eddie Schroth. Figaro, 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 la la. Nice. Break. the cattle. They weren't such a dumb shit. Jenny might still be alive.
He's got a gun! plan. So where's he keeping this bag of goodies? Well, as you might expect, Eddie and his goons snag a lot of confiscated goods for themselves. They stash most of it in the old Turkish baths. It's hard to get there, though, if you don't know how. But from Fulton, there's a connection through the old City Hall station. You'll need to get past the gate between Fulton and City Hall. But Schroed's gang makes damn sure it's always locked. However, someone whispered in my ear that they keep a key hidden somewhere in the public toilets at Fulton Street Station. Okay. I'm off to grab Paulie and Schrott fucker's piece of candy. Thanks, Butch. Be careful, Jackie. Go to the old Turkish baths and get that suitcase. Then meet me at those same public toilets at Fulton Street Station. The ones where they keep the key to the gate. I'll be waiting there for you when you come back. <laughs> This is City Hall. You know, it used to be a subway station. But it pretty much went to hell a few years ago. It's the only way through to where I need to go. Back to the motherfuckers who killed you.
Help me, Lord Satan. I'm fine. Come, sir. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Bang, zoom, dead. Nuggy. Lend me. These are the old Turkish baths. Schroed's secret warehouse full of stolen evidence. But I got a little birthday surprise waiting for me. Courtesy of good old Butcher Joyce. All I gotta do is get through half a legion of bank cops, find that suitcase, and bring it back to Butcher.
more than a robot and a metal detector. My own is better than. <laughs>
in fucking progress! Oh, you see this? Back up! Now! Stop! thing or two about ambushes, having set up most of Pauly's business in that regard for years. So I know when I'm about to be on the receiving end. Eddie's boys are gonna be out here intent on blowing my brains out. These fucking morons must think I was born yesterday.
You're a red shit for Watch brains. Out! Fight fire with fire. That's what I always say. My Uncle Paul, he always goes for the spectacular when he's breaking somebody's balls. But let's see how he likes it when I do the same to his main man, Eddie. Human flesh. This is where you are. But you will remain. Well, you stirred up a hornet's nest, Jackie. Make no mistake. Your Uncle Paulie had big plans for that briefcase. I'd imagine they'd be calling any second now. But first, I'm gonna put a bomb in that suitcase. Okay. now, Jackie. You decide when and where you meet Eddie. Just be careful. You didn't get this far in life by being stupid. Hmm? Wow, Eddie. 
I didn't know you cared. Don't push your luck, Estacado. I am warning you. And don't call me Eddie. What? You're gonna kill me? I'm shaking. Oh, I can do worse, Jackie. I seem to recall your lady friend's face exploding. Just tell me a place. Trinity Church. Bring 50 grand and unlock bills and come alone. Used to be the only person I cared about was you. Now, the only person I care about is Eddie Schrote. Him and my Uncle Paulie. You just hang in there, Eddie. Luck isn't just luck. It's preparation meets opportunity. Well, I got my opportunity. Jury's out on whether or not I'm really prepared. One thing I know for sure. This is my path to the men who killed you. There's no way in hell anyone can stop me from paying them back for what they did. means I gotta top myself again, but this time, I'm gonna take Eddie fucking Schrode along with me for a ride. Why this place? Filthy church. Well, I see you came alone. I knew you'd keep your word, Jackie boy. And I see you brought my stuff, just like you promised. Go ahead, put it on the altar, nice and slow. to make the dumbest mistakes possible. Like they train you guys to be dipshits on command. Kendall, turn off the there lights.
We'll turn the damn floodlights on! Get through that shit in the light! And don't fucking call me anyway! those tricks in the dark. Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out your weakness. Welcome back to the land of the living. But don't get used to it. Okay. Now, tell me. Who helped you out on the hit at the turkey's baths? Oh, what's the matter? Helpless without that screwy shit you've been pulling in the darkness? Too light here, isn't it? You're mine now. Ah, uh, let's get creative. You don't have to talk. I'm gonna have fun either way. Go give me that power drill. Sure thing, Eddie. It ain't Eddie, you fucking moron! It's Captain Schroep! Ah, oh, shit, sorry. Sure thing, Captain Schroep. Now, I'm gonna tell you how this works. You tell me who helped you out on the hit at the turkey's baths. You tell me who saw the briefcase. You play ball and you die quickly. 
Otherwise, you get little holes drilled in the pain centers of your brain. And believe me, I've done this work before. You may think you're a tough kid, but you don't want to go that second route. You know, you made Polly real nervous. That little turd is so paranoid, I gotta keep him in a safe place until the heat dies down. Now say your prayers. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at... Oh, Mother of God. That's a good one, boss. I mean, considering the shipment we got coming in. Well, don't tell him, you stupid shit! What's the difference? Who's he gonna tell? Won't make any difference if he knows about the... You said we was gonna waste him. Oh, yeah. We're gonna waste him. And if you say one more word about Mother of God, right. we're gonna waste you next! Easy. All right, all right, all right. Here you go. Now then, you may feel a little discomfort. Oh, shit! God damn it! You're plugging him all the way over there! Jesus Christ! God damn it! I'll do it myself. No plan, no fucking forethought. Always gotta fix every little goddamn thing myself, just like fucking usual. And fucking blabbermouth guys, no common sense, no respect. Talk about all that later. Uh, yeah. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. <laughs> Chinese piece of shit. I seen a man die of shock one time before the drill even touched his skull. Lucky son of a bitch. Display your power. Come over here. Lights in my eyes. I need some shade. You caused us a lot of trouble, Estacado. You know how long it's gonna take to repair all that damage you've done? <sighs> Dark bliss. Keep licking Eddie's ass. You cunts. Polish his sweet fuck crack. Boy, you sure did put the cat among the pigeons, Estacado. You know what I'm saying? That means you fucked everything up. Why? Now we gotta do what we gotta do. You. That's it. That's all we gotta do. Hit it. Yes, darkness. You're fucking hilarious. You think fuck face A could ever make me talk? Mmm. Manny messed up your face. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes, boy. You know, when Eddie gets that drill fixed, this'll look pretty cute in comparison. I grow strong. You realize no one's getting out of this alive, right? You know, Estacado, I never did like Paulie Franchetti. If I didn't have to kill you, I'd buy you a drink for what you did. No, stupid puppet! And that... 
That was the second time I died. You don't know what you've done. Death awaits you, lost in death. The master will kill us! How can you fail? <laughs> Worthless host. It's no use, old chap. Won't work without a shell. You'll need to find one. Somewhere else. You are without hope. I never felt like I needed much. A place to sleep. Food and drink. Maybe a piece for protection. I need a cannon shell. Need a little hope. I need to know why the darkness is lying to me. I need to see you again.
Well done, old chap. His Majesties can ever be of service. Don't hesitate to ask. I need to find Anthony Estacado. You know where he went? Well, it's, uh, it, it's all a bit hectic and whatnot. The Yank went off to the trenches. Uh, he said he was expecting you, said he was getting things ready. Sorry, it's all I can remember. Ignore them. I hate you, Jackie. They always lie. Did you ever hear a scream and realize it was you? Not you. Something inside you. Something that has no right to be there. I hear the darkness. Crying foul because it knows I'm about to gain control. Because it's a afraid. Finally, you're back! You got the darkness running scared, Jackie! I can sense it in the air! Get on to the tank, Jackie! Man the gun, I'm driving. We got some payback to deliver.
there for sure. Goddamn tank almost crushed my spine. <laughs> hey, you don't look so good, Jackie. I'll go find something to get you out of here. Don't go anywhere, kid. Big 
mistake. Oh, God. I, I can feel something inside me. It's moving. Oh, don't forget me, kid. If you get to the end of the line, I mean, what then? Maybe there is a way out, and I just can't find it yet. Or maybe it's through here, in the heart of the darkness. Or maybe I'm just walking into a trap.
destroy you. I 
now. But Jackie... With each life you take, I go closer to owning your soul! Jackie Estacado. Wake up! <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> You know what would be neat? If people had flying cars. It would also be neat if I had a clue what you were talking about. I'm just saying, where's my flying car? I thought we had them by now. They're called planes. No, I mean a car. you flamed out the same time as that cocksucker Eddie Schroeder. <laughs> That's one hell of a stunt you pulled. Where you been hiding? I spent a couple of weeks in a dark place. You wouldn't understand. Mystery man, huh? Well, you sure made some waves, son. The Chicago boys are considering pulling the plug on your dear old Uncle Paulie. He's on his knees, ready to suck whatever dick he can so they won't freeze his assets. He's holed up. Not even Butcher knows where. Schroed's people mentioned Mother of God. Now, I think it had something to do with the administration in Chicago. You know anything about that? Ah, uh, strange. He and Paulie got religious? Run the name with Butcher. He's gonna shit in his britches. When you show up, you're supposed to be dead. So go see Butcher. He should be over Aunt Sarah's. He's, uh, helping around with some stuff or some shit. I, I don't know. <laughs> we got some old men with their dicks flapping in the breeze and their noses seriously out of joint. You know what I mean? What? that eclipse they were talking about on the news. Yeah, just feels weird. Whatever it is, it's big. I feel like a penguin trying to stop a runaway polar bear. Mother of God thing was way too obvious. I figured it had to be something else. Now I knew that Aunt Sarah and the Butcher were ready to see Schroet and Paulie's asses on a platter. 
I've already got an opening. Maybe they can help turn it into a gaping hole. Still alive. Oh, thank the Lord. <sighs> Holy catfish. Jackie? Jackie, is that you? This problem with your Uncle Paulie has gone on long enough, Jackie. It's time to take action. I think the decision has just about made itself anyway, what with the way he's been carrying on. Now, some old friends of the family want to know what they can do to help. Eddie Schroeder's guy said something about the Mother of God. It was supposed to be an inside joke, but it meant something. Now, I think there's some kind of connection to the Chicago family's something Paulie wants to keep to himself. Mother of God? Like the Virgin Mary? You don't suppose he's talking about the Santa Maria? Mm -hmm. That's a Chicago family boat. It's been running shipments of drugs into the harbor for years. Knowing Eddie, he wouldn't resist a chance to talk about it to a dying man. <laughs> he always did have diarrhea in the mouth. Especially if there's something big going on. Chicago family's gonna be real interested in what happens here, Jackie. This is gonna be your best chance to get Paulie out of the picture for good. Just say the word, and I'll help if I can. I want to know more about this Santa Maria, Butch. Anything there I can use against Paulie? Listen, Jackie, I would never normally say this. <clears throat> you know me. I never choose sides. But you already put a hole in Paulie's finances when you took out Dutch Oven Harry's operation. You put a few holes in that boat, Santa Maria. <laughs> the Chicago family's gonna pull a plug, and Paulie will find himself swimming to the bottom of the river. I need to know how to mess up Paulie's deal. They got people inside the Coast Guard. They usually wait for the coast to clear, and they call the Santa Maria in from the harbor to make a shipment. <clears throat> There's a radio they use down at Grinders Lane to the correct frequency at all times. You get to that radio and call in, and they'll send the boat. <laughs> now you do what Butcher says. The boat's name is Santa Maria. You should go to Grinders Lane and find that radio. You know why the New York subway was invented? All right, I'll tell you. There's a group of tunnels they use for smuggling Italian immigrants. Well, that's what Jimmy the Grape told me one time.
During the war, they used to have this saying, loose lips sink ships. Now I know what they mean. And soon, the Chicago families will know too. All I need is that radio to call in their boat. You can bring in the boat. Everything's clear. Over. Affirmative. We are coming in.
When I was a kid, I used to think that the subway system was like one big plate of spaghetti and all the stations were meatballs. My Uncle Pauly smacked me upside the head whenever I talked about stuff like that. your wallet give me your money bitch give me your fucking money Job's not worth doing unless you do it right. Paul is a dead man unless he grows a beard and learns how to speak Swahili. Or he won't get a chance. Not for as long as I draw breath. I'm here because Paulie Franchetti tells me where I gotta be. So when he tells me to watch out for his mother of God boat or whatever, that's what I do. Now you fucking dipshit.
Now that Paulie's found out that the old crew's on my side, it's like some snake bit him on the heel. Next thing I know, I got Jimmy the Grape and everybody all holed up at Aunt Sarah's place, while Paulie's boys crawl on all over them like stink on shit. I guess maybe this is what I wanted all along. The opportunity to impress. Jimmy will never have stood for this, and neither will I!
much of the redecorating job, Jackie. It's the work of Paulie's rat bastard backstabbing motherfuckers. Oh, I am glad to see you're all in one piece. That and the Chicago people. They're gonna be grateful that you protected your Aunt Sarah. They'll owe you a great debt. But Paulie, on the other hand, oh. Okay, I've got a lead for you. I think I know where Paulie Franchetti's been keeping himself, hmm? Paulie paid for an old lighthouse to be renovated last year. He's out there, hoping the hell you don't find him. You can only get there by boat. You got balls, kid. You really got balls. And you got brains. Listen, me and some of the old guys, we've been talking the other day, and we were saying that someone like you, with brains, balls, and respect, and someone who honors the old ways, you know what the old ways mean, don't you? Because there ain't nothing but the old ways. So what we want, we want for you to come in and take over the family, just for a little while. Huh? You like that? Come on. This way you'll be the guy, you'll be the Don. Sure. As long as it doesn't interfere with my day job. That's the spirit, kid. But don't let it go to your head, huh? Now get this straight. There's a boat waiting for you down at Pier 19. Mario's there. He'll take you out to the lighthouse. Okay? You ain't home yet.
End of story. Except I'm not the one lining up for the last rites. It's my loving Uncle Paulie. He knows the end of the story as well as I do. But he don't like it as much. You know what I say to that? Fuck him. I seen that stupid little prick shovel a whole mountain of shit onto some good friggin' people. Dealing with dope heads and selling out to the cops? You take Polly Franchetti out, I'll be right behind you.
was proper feed. Not happening. No. 
please. Come on. We've been through so much together, man. It wasn't me. It was Polly. I swear to God, it was Polly. Do it, I know he did. Please. Oh, please. Please just let me live. Please. I'll do anything, man. Please take him. But the snow needs to be rash here. <laughs> Why don't you fucking listen to me, you piece of shit? When he dies, I own you. Take his life so that I can take yours. I mean, you think hard. Don't make a hasty decision. I could do a lot for a guy like you. It's the cutout. You fucking piece of shit! I hope you rot in hell forever! the end of the line. There's always a little light in the darkness. Didn't I tell you so, sweets? Jenny? We get one moment, Jackie. It's all they can allow. What? Who? Just one moment. Just to say goodbye. You were everything to me. And all I ever did was kill you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I can't forgive you, Jackie. How can I forgive you when it wasn't your fault? You have to go now. I don't want to go. I want to stay here with you. I know. Am I dreaming? Yes. 
You have to wake up now. <laughs>